Welcome to Command Combat, everybody. We are fighting around the world using Memoir 44. There are 10 games, and we're keeping score between the Axis and the Allies. The Axis have two points so far, while the Allies have none. This is Game 3. We're fighting the Battle of the Bulge today. The exact conflict is Clairvaux, the road to Bestone. Planned with the utmost secrecy, German Operation Watch on the Rhine was launched in the wee hours of December 16, 1944. Hitler's objective? To conduct a blitzkrieg on what the U.S. First Army considered a quiet front and push through the densely forested Ardennes Massif under the cover of heavy overcast weather. South of Matufel's front, the 110th Infantry Regiment faced the main thrust of the attacking German divisions alone on an 11-mile front. But the bridges had now been built, with two panzer on the move. Clairvaux had to be evacuated. The road to Bastogne now lay open. The stage is set. The battle lines are drawn. The rest is history. The Germans are trying to capture these buildings and or exit off these sides of the board. The Americans are trying to hold them and have some tank hunters to help. The Germans have a lot of armor, but they need to build a pontoon bridge to get them across the river. Both teams are looking for six points to win. With all that established, let's get started. The Germans start by laying out their pontoon bridge. The Americans probe and call for reinforcements, but they get none. They try to fire at the Germans through the fog, but they can't quite see well enough. The Germans get orders direct from HQ and come running out of the fog at their objective, getting some kills. Their armor comes in to support, but they can't completely dislodge the Americans. The Americans counter with an infantry street fight, blowing away some Jerry's in front of them and causing those on the flank to flee. German armor swings around the town to hit the supporting infantry and the surviving Jerry's charge the village and take it. The American anti-tank guns hold the road and destroy a panzer unit, clearing the way for the tank hunters to go after the other tanks. Those tanks are out of fuel and now causing a backup along the road. So the next tanks pull up and fire at the tank hunters, destroying some of them. The Americans let loose on the stranded tanks, destroying the ones on the crossroads and damaging another unit of infantry on the flank. The Germans pull up into the woods and the Americans open fire on them, causing the survivors to flee and they cause the German armor on the road to pull back as well. That gives the Americans the confidence to charge across the road and retake the village. The score is now 3-1 to one in the Americans' favor. The Germans push onto the road in the center, and the two sides hammer away at one another. But the German numbers prevail, and they take the village. The Americans push some of the Germans back, but the German armor concentrates on the village and the crossroads again, causing the Americans to flee. American armor comes in to cover their retreat and destroy the panzers at the crossroads. That brings them four points, only two to go for the Allies to have a victory. The German infantry push back the tank hunters and clear the road. The armored column now gets across the pontoon bridge and prepares to make a run down the road. But the Americans fire across the front, damaging the infantry which had pushed back the tank hunters and causing the front of the armored column to flee. They nearly finish off another German infantry unit, but it manages to pull back just in time. The German panzers make a massive assault in the center, causing the American Shermans to flee. The Americans respond with artillery on the infantry in the woods. That brings them five points to the German too. They nearly have this all wrapped up. The Germans push forward their panzers, killing off some American infantry along the way. But they have placed themselves between American bazookas who fire into their flanks, destroying the German tanks. That's six points. The Americans win, giving the Allies a much needed victory. The Allies now have one point in the campaign, while the Axis have two. We will see how this campaign plays out as we continue on to turn four. Thank you all for watching, and happy gaming, as we're... Making movies, making music and fun.